One Happy Story, CBA, The Citizen's Basic Income, by Zeraldo, narrated by Scott Santons. Isn't it sad when we walk on the streets and see all those poor children who don't have any bread to eat? And do you know why those children are as poor as that? It is because, for some reason, their parents don't have a job and they don't receive a salary at the end of the month. Without a salary or without any income, it isn't possible to buy anything. Therefore, they live on the streets and ask for other people's help. Sadly, Brazil is one of the most unequal nations in the world. We have few rich people who live with a lot of money, and we have millions of poor people who do not earn the minimum necessary to survive. And why doesn't the government help these poor Brazilians? Good question. And to answer this question, Senator Eduardo Suplicy sent the project Creating the Citizens Basic Income, CBI, to the Brazilian Congress. The name is complicated, but the issue is very simple. The CBI is an amount of money that every Brazilian would receive to be able to survive. With that, everyone would have basic conditions. It will be the right to all to participate in the wealth of the nation. So will it no longer be necessary to work? Not at all. The basic income will provide basic living conditions, but a better life with more comfort, more accomplished dreams, more happiness to live is only achievable when everyone works very hard. And will every Brazilian receive that money, including the rich? Yes, every Brazilian, and foreigners living in Brazil for five years or more, be those rich or poor, from the north or from the south, of any age, student, worker, or retired, everyone will receive, without restrictions, and without many rules that will complicate everything. No one will have to show proof of income or wealth. No one will have to prove anything, except that he or she lives in this country, and no one will be ashamed to receive the government money. Everyone will be equal. The government isn't making a special favor for anyone. It will just be fair to all. Hence, as we have duties to follow, we also have rights to receive. That is what being a citizen means, and the biggest right of a citizen is to be able to live with dignity in his or her country. But isn't it a crazy idea? No! Even today in Brazil, the government already offers some help to the poorest, as in the so-called Bolsa Familia program, in which poor families earn money if they register and maintain their children at school, far away from the street life and from child labor. Children, of course, only have to study, play, and be happy. Work is something for the grown-ups. Cool. And why hasn't this happened already? The law was approved by the Congress and sanctioned by the President of the Republic in 2004. Now it is necessary to work in order to implement it and turn it into a reality. And does the government have enough money to give to everyone? No, it doesn't. That is why the project of citizens' basic income should be implemented slowly. At the beginning, each one receives a little bit, and the more our country grows and generates wealth, the more the value of the citizens' basic income grows. There are some successful experiences of basic income around the world. In Brazil, the first city to approve and implement the project was Santo Antonio do Pinal in the state of Sao Paulo. Over there, each person who lives in the city for at least five years will receive the money from the municipal fund. In Namibia, an African country, the project was implemented in 2008 in a village called Mochivero, and it is already showing great results. It has improved a lot the life conditions of its citizens. And so from city to city, from state to state, we'll walk towards a more prosperous, fair, and happy Brazil, with each Brazilian able to live in dignity and aim for a better life. Are you curious? Do you have any doubts about citizens' basic income? In the next pages, Senator Eduardo Soplici will answer the main questions on this very important topic. How will it be possible to obtain resources to finance the citizens' basic income, CBI? From any source of wealth generated within a community, region, or country, we can always separate a parcel in order to form a fund which, 
when accumulated could promote the amount necessary to pay the CBI to the entire population. The way to obtain resources could come from royalties generated by the exploitation of natural resources, from a parcel of the value obtained from public services, from taxes, from financial transactions, from electronic financial transactions, from rentals of federal real estate, or combination of those alternatives. Is the idea to start with municipalities or regions? Similarly to the experiences of the minimum income associated with education started in the 1990s in municipalities until they were extended to the entire country in the form of the Bolsa Familia program, which now covers the 5,565 Brazilian municipalities, it is possible to start the CBA by municipalities and regions. The mayor of Santo Antonio do Pedal initiated a legislative project that, after being approved by the city council, was sanctioned in 2009. It states the gradual implementation of the CBI, which shall start soon. Will the citizens' base income be exclusive in relation to the family grant program, or could they be cumulative? If the citizens' base income benefits better each person in comparison to previous programs, it could substitute those with advantages. Will there be any conditionality to those who receive the citizens' base in income? The benefit can be combined with the condition of school attendance for some period of time because such obligation foresees the additional benefit of education for those who otherwise would be precluded from it. Progressively, as it happens with wealthier people, everyone will have the interest to attend school. Would the CBI stimulate higher birth rate amongst poor families? The higher the income of families, the better the access to information, education, and to family planning. With the Brazilian Congress progress, there has been lower birth rate, hence income distribution will be better. Would it stimulate idleness? We love to do many things and feel responsible for performing so many tasks even without earning anything. For example, mothers and fathers who take care of their children or of their parents and grandparents through volunteer work in neighborhood associations, churches, and the most diverse range of denominations such as academic directories. We do all those activities so we feel useful. Our constitution assures the right to property, which means that the owners of farms, factories, banks, properties, etc. have the right to profit and to receive their interests without having to prove they are working or that their children attend school. In spite of that, they usually work and their children attend school normally. If we assure the richer the right to receive income without conditions, why not expand that to all, the poor and the rich? The right to participate, at least a little bit, in the commonwealth of the nation throughout the citizens' basic income? What is the biggest advantage of the CBI? The biggest advantage is to provide more dignity and real freedom to all people. For that girl who, due to lack of alternatives, is taken to prostitution, for that boy who is instigated to become a member of a gang, or the rural worker who does not find ways to live but to work under semi-slavery. The CBI will allow, from now on, everyone to have the freedom to say no to the above-mentioned activities and to wait, perhaps while doing a training course, for a work in accordance with their vocation.